Hello viewers, I'm going to show you how to um, set your 3DS Max to Unreal Units and set the right, the grid scale and the Unreal Units to the right scale in centimetres and then show you how to enlarge or decrease your model to be the right scale that you want it in game in your Unreal development kit um, to suit your Unreal development kit UDK um, so go to open file mine's in my desktop so I'll select desktop it's on my desktop there and I'll go to palm tree collection I'll open up um, Palm 5. Do you want to accept the get you LUT correction? To, do you want the gamma correction to be disabled? Just click yes to that so it corresponds with the settings in this file. Now, here's where it tries to ask you about the, the 3DS Max unit scale units, which is part of what I'm basically show, going to show you. Now, it, it says rescale the object to unit system scale, which is 2 centimetres, which is close to the Unreal unit scale, but it's not because the Unreal unit scale is 2.56 centimetres. And you could also, if this file was already open before, you could have file select adopt file unit scale if it's showing 2.56 centimetres up here but it's not doing any of those things so I'll just adopt the files unit scale so save it distorting anything now the first thing I do is I go to customize up here left click on that then go to unit setup then I click custom and where it says FL I type in UUS for shorthand for Unreal Units and I'd set that feet, turn that feet into centimetres and put in 2.56 for centimetres there. Click OK and do it again but do it on a different part. Unit Setup now click system unit setup so just set that to centimeters and then put 2.56 click OK click OK again and I'll just check it for you to show you how it's working unit setup so it's set now to one one unit one 3ds max unit now equals 2.56 centimeters which is the unreal udk unreal development kit unit scale all right click ok to that and you can see it says it there under custom as well so if you lose one you still got the other now click ok down the bottom now what you do is you click your snap toggle and then this snap toggle here, there's three of them. One, two, three. Undo them. The one on the left, just right click on it. Click Home Grid. Then click All Viewports. And where it says 10 Unreal Units, this is for your grid. Where it says 10 Unreal Units, take away the 10 and put in an 8. So it says 8 UUS as you can see and then you put a note underneath where it says 10 down below hit the enter that's 8 now where the 7 is just hit 64 because that'll 2 times the 32 and then you hit enter and you can see there my grid is now bigger just close that after you've done it 
Now if I click in here and Oh the fucking thing. I don't know what's happened here, my mouse is not working. Uh I'll click on another one. Right, as you can see there the scrape the grid is a lot bigger now. But the scale of that tree is very small. So to make that tree bigger you can click on any one of these windows and because the tree's in two parts still so you got the leaves up the top and then if you click on the trunk it highlights the trunk so to scale it what you do is you just left click here hold the mouse down drag over the top and then let go and it it selects all the objects in your model and then what you do is you click on utilities up here where the hammer is then you click measure and you see down here underneath dimensions it says 24 unreal units which is very small that's probably up to your knees if you're a soldier on the on the Unreal Development Kit. So I'll just actually overlap that again, make sure, yep. Yeah. Right now, this is the sizing tool, scaling tool to scale the size of the model. Click on that. And I'll turn this around so I can show you the tool better. Actually, I'll just delete that stupid camera there. Now I'll show you the show you the scaling tool. All right, you have it pointed in that direction so that you can click in the middle of the scaling tool to increase everything. Because what this scaling tool does, if you look there carefully, I'll put it in maximize view. Uh, the red, if you pull the red out, that'll widen the tree in that direction and its opposite. And if you pull the green out, that'll widen the tree in that other direction. I'll just show you. What the hell? It's moving it instead of widening it. I don't know what's wrong with this blinking thing. I'll just undo that. I'll try the perspective mode again. All right, I like working in perspective mode better than them other things. They play up them other ones. All right, now if I, now if I show you, it should work. I don't know what this yellow thing with this yellow thing. Oh yeah, because of the snap grid. All right. Now, if I drag that out, the green one makes it wider in those areas, see? I better undo that. Undo scale. And the red one will make it go the other way. Undo scale. And the blue one makes it taller. But I don't want to do any of them, I want to do all of them at once. So what I do is I click in the middle of this triangle, right smack in the middle, and pull it out to the right to enlarge it. Uh, hang on, I'll just um, maximise it. <coughs> I put that in the middle and I enlarge it by pulling out, left clicking in the middle and dragging it out right. I want to make it about 300 high, three people's high, because the average soldier is 96 Unreal units. So if I make this 300 units, it'd be the average size palm tree, I'd imagine. Around about 300, that'll do it. Now, before I do anything, I click back in that box, and then click on here, and just mouse wheel back a bit. 
and you'll see the tree is now enlarged but it's under the grid so highlight it again and then click the arrow one to drag it up it's still in the middle but it's horizontally but vertically it needs centering right now as you can see here you can do this about there looks pretty right now it's 300 units the size 300 unreal units notice it says UUS that's your height Z is your height uh, X and Y are your widths um, so what you do now you just left click on that go to either save or save as best usually every time you make changes to something click save as and you want it as a max file so you can export it as FBX later um, palm 5 well I'll, I'll name this palm 5 B Uh, and, and it's in my palm collection folder make sure it's in the same folder where it come from all right save all right now what I would do usually if I thought it was finished I'd click like if the model had its textures and everything on it I'd um, click export and select the folder that it's in which is desktop um, first desktop because the folders on my desktop and then I'd go to the palm collection give it a name um, any name and then I'd click save but I don't need to do that at the moment I actually yeah to click save and what, what I'd do is I'd have smoothing groups always have smoothing groups ticked to convert deforming dummies to bones ticked and turbo smooth but I won't need to save it um, and see where it says advanced options probably pay to check your binary binaries do work but I don't know what they're like after the game's cooked so you could probably best to go ASC double I or ASC 2 whatever it is and select 2012 uh, as your type of F FBX file format because ASC 2 is the first one Right, I won't save that because it's a corrupt corrupt bloody um, model at the moment being without materials added to it so I'll show you more tutorials on this this model at a later date uh, thanks for watching stay tuned for the next tutorial on that same model